Hello everyone. What we're going to do here today is to look at some uh, disk quotas. As you already know, Windows has several types of disk quotas, uh, configurations and things like that. Uh, there are two types of it actually. One is with the NTFS file systems and one is uh, FSRM, the file system resource manager. So we will, and the third person, and the third one is actually with group policy. We're going to have, uh, we're going to look at each and every one of it. Uh, suppose like I'm going to apply the disk quotas in D, D drive. So go for properties, quota, enable quota management, and if you want, deny this space to users exceeding quota limit. And apart from these things, these are actually contradicting uh, the other other options that, like the enable quota management and do not limit disks usage. Uh, that's pretty confusing. But these are applicable only to new users. Whatever user applications and storage you have on the disk drive over here would be converted to new users and all the users will be also, uh, all, and the new users are already, uh, you know, the new users. So suppose like I want to use, I want to give permission for every user to be, have like two gigabytes of it, the uh, two gigabytes space, and the warning level would be one point, uh, well, 1800 megabytes. And you can also have log these events, code limits, and if, if any user exceeds their warning level. Quota entries. By default, the administrator has uh, <coughs> the default uh, users, but if you, if you need to have any other users bringing in, and you can, suppose like, let's say me. Okay, limit the space to okay, same thing to gigabyte and warning level to 1900 megabyte. So do not remove this administrator account because all the all the other things that's actually dependent on this account. So close this part of this. This is quota system now. Yep, apply. it's already applied right now. See the green light? This quota system is active. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look into another one the file service system. Uh, sorry, the FSRM. We already have this, uh, so many things in here for, for protection for Exchange, Outlook, and this server is the DC. Uh, okay, let's go for mm, the file services is already installed. Okay, let's install uh, the file, file services file, uh, FS, the FSRM. <coughs> Uh, the file server resource manager click next this is where we want to apply our discoder files by owner report group report options larger file large file reports uh, volume usage threshold would be 85 percent coder usage report and file screen audit report okay I'll hit next. I would like also to receive mails uh, administrator at mobs-bd.org <coughs> and also the storage would be uh, be here make new folder storage reports <coughs> or 
you can also have these things ready and uh, D drive install wait for a couple of minutes it will be installed automatically okay the installation is succeeded what we're going to do right now is go to the file services and we will we're going to look at some options with the FSRM so the file server resource manager is installed as you can see let's go to uh, administrative tools file server resource manager here we can create there are some templates available you can also use these things uh, copy properties and it as you can see there are limit users and also volume usage monitor share you can also uh, add some commands and reports suppose like if you need to generate some reports uh, okay oops the threshold reports are already here uh, okay let's go back to the original okay we're going to create a new quota the path would be to user homes and user shares you can also if you have um, user profiles saved in the user homes directory you can provide individual user homes so there you can go there you go uh, the limit would be like 200 limits reports to user define custom coder properties if you like create new custom coder copy it into into it and add some send email to the administrator the coder, if, if the coder uh, threshold is exceeded send email to the send email to the user also and additional email headers you can also insert some additional email headers by uh, inserting text into into this into the fields event log no SMTP no I don't need to do any SMTP so okay uh, suppose like this you can also threshold would be like 80 percent and there you go you can also create user limit and put your name for the templates user limits for mobs save the custom code with uh, without creating uh, you can also do this there you go you have your quota also implemented there are another way we can create quotas disk quotas let's go to the <coughs> group policy we're going to do it also in the group policy group policy management tools default domain policy click on edit the coder would be you would find this coder under policy policies and administrative templates then go to system and then disk quotas you see there are only one two three six of them you can enable individually all the discoders this is uh, the primary one enable discoder and the next one would be enforce discoder limit and the next one would be this is a hard hard limit for users 
default code limit and warning level. This sorry, this is the soft limit and log events. So apply policy to removable media. If you want uh, want to apply uh, policies to the removable media, you can also do it here. So let's go back to the first one. You can also enable these things. Apply. It's already done. Enable this quota. Next, enforce this quota limit. Enable. Apply. Next one. This quota limit and warning level. Warning level. Units would be in gigabyte, one gigabyte, uh, two gigabytes, as we did earlier. It's a two gigabyte limit for users and 1800 megabytes would be okay 1800 megabyte for okay sorry okay let's do like 1000 gigabyte apply next setting log event enabled next one if a user uh, it's has it has exceeded its warning level enabled apply next one apply to no that this is going to be a disabled okay so these are the three ways we can also configure uh, discoders.